YouTube is a thing that everybody wants to do these days. But the thing is, not everybody knows how to do it. So if you want to be a Gorilla Tag YouTuber, this is the video for you. Today I'm going to be telling you guys a bunch of things about how to be a good Gorilla Tag YouTuber and get popular. Now before I start, you're not going to get instantly popular from doing these strategies. It will take time. For me, I didn't get popularity for almost 6 months. There's many ways to get popular on YouTube, but there's some specific ways that can help you even better. So I'm going to be sharing some of these topics. The first thing is you have to have good thumbnails. Thumbnails play a crucial role in your YouTube journey. Thumbnails affect if people will actually click on your video or not. But something is, people don't really know how to make thumbnails. So, I suggest either watching a tutorial, get some family's help, or even some friends. I'm thug shaking, but y'all can't see. Now subscribe, this is gonna be you. But yeah, that's basically all for the thumbnails part. The second thing you probably should look into is titling and creative ideas. Many, many YouTubers steal ideas from each other. And this is really, really wrong. So, you need to come up with creative ideas that no one's ever done before, because then you will 100% get some recognition. Just like thumbnails, titles play a huge role in your YouTube. Title can affect how people search up your video or even see it on their For You page. And here's some advice. Don't make a video called, I'm playing Gorilla Tag. It's not going to get any views. I'm sorry to break it to you. And also, please do not post videos directly from your quest. What I mean by this is you open up the Oculus browser and then you press YouTube, log into your account and post it from there on the YouTube studio. Do not do that. You're not going to get any views. It's not going to be edited at all. Yeah, I'm just trying to help you guys out with that one. But yeah, titles and ideas play a crucial role. This is something that many people struggle with, so I'm trying to help you guys with it. This next subject plays a huge role because it makes people stick around and actually subscribe to your channel. This is editing. Editing plays a huge role because if you don't have good editing or decent editing or put any effort into editing, then people are not going to subscribe to your channel. You have to at least put some type of editing into your videos for people even to consider subscribing. Many people don't realize this, just like I said earlier, how they post them from their quest. And to help some of you smaller creators out there, try to add some funny moments into your videos, like the vine boom. You should have just heard it. The goofy ah laugh. <laughs> and many more. You can always search up on YouTube funny YouTube sounds and you can screen record them and use them in your videos. They're not copyrighted because everybody can use these sounds. When you're picking a name for your YouTube channel, don't pick something that everybody's used before. Don't do Elf VR, don't do Banana VR. Those have all been taken by many, many people. Like my name's Super Creative, K-O-0-P-4-R. It's super, super creative. No one's ever used this before. Some people have stolen my idea using a C-O-0-P-3-R. It's kind of annoying, so make sure to try to get a really, really creative name so no one can take that from you. But yeah, names play a crucial role in your YouTube journey, and make sure to pick a very good one. Now for shorts. In my opinion, shorts, you shouldn't post them all the time. Yes, they get you subscribers, but they're not always loyal subscribers. What I say to do is post shorts until 100 subscribers, and then start posting long-form content, and then see if people enjoy that because then people actually already know who you are. Real quick, I would like you guys to subscribe again. Only 38% of you are subscribed, and it would mean a lot to me if you guys did. Another thing with content is you have to make legal content. What I mean by this is you can't steal copyrighted music from people without giving credits. Another thing is if you're trying to get the finger painter badge, don't post illegal mod videos. You are 100% not going to be able to get the badge, and if that's your goal, then don't post mod videos. But if you want to post legal mod videos like the bark mod and so many more, that's fine. But if you're aiming for finger painter, don't post illegal mod videos. That's basically all for this video. Tell me down below if this helped you guys at all. And if you're a new viewer, consider subscribing. I hope to see some big content creators coming up soon. So yeah, see you guys.